Over the past few years, cryptocurrencies have gained immense popularity with retail investors, especially with the rise of coins such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Dogecoin. However, although retail investors definitely represent a huge portion of the crypto economy, cryptocurrencies have also gained a lot of traction from large financial institutions, including banks, investment firms, and publicly traded companies. Nevertheless, there is still another major step that is currently in the works, and by that, I'm talking about the US government itself. In this video, I will cover how the US government recently announced some details for a potential US-backed cryptocurrency, and why this new creation could impact the crypto market in a significant manner, and the way we live our lives. Welcome to Cassian's Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this, and let's get right into it. A lot of cryptocurrencies are known for being decentralized, which means that no government institutions or people are backing these cryptos. This is against the design of traditional currencies like the US dollar, where the Fed can and has shown to print more whenever it feels like it. In addition, many cryptos are popular because they have a limited supply, which can be used to hedge against the financial system. On the flip side, over the past few years, there's been a huge increase in the interest for central bank digital currencies, also known as CBDCs. CBDCs have been looked to as a tool to modernize the financial system and have already gained traction in several large countries across the world. Most recently, China announced the development of its own central bank digital currency through a pilot program, which shook the world in a drastic manner. But first of all, you might be wondering, how would this CBDC even work? China's CBDC is known as the Digital Yuan, as that is practically what it is. The Digital Yuan has been proposed to use a financial exchange platform like blockchain. There were two major new uses with the digital yuan that the paper yuan does not allow for. The first reason for the creation of China's CBDC is that it allows regulators to quickly track people's payments, which is definitely something that may be concerning for some citizens. The People's Bank of China, which is China's central bank, explained how information flow and fund flows should be synchronized to facilitate regulators to monitor the transactions for compliance. Mu Cheng Chun, an official of the People's Bank of China, has said a completely anonymous central bank digital currency is not an option, even when based on international consensus. Rather, China wants to maintain control of its currency. He further states, the precondition of CBDC's anonymity is it being risk controllable and limited. A fully anonymous CBDC is not practical. This will likely be negatively received by a lot of you watching, especially since that essentially defeats the fundamental purpose of a cryptocurrency in the first place. Those that are concerned about privacy issues are not alone. A 3-month survey done with the European Central Bank found that the biggest factor for a CBDC in the eyes of EU residents was privacy, which was actually valued over security. However, China clearly has a different view on CBDCs, which may affect the popularity of its use. In addition to transparency, there's also one other major reason why China is creating a CBDC, which is for foreign exchange. Oftentimes, when we exchange our currency for other foreign currencies, the process can be complicated and expensive. Through a digital currency, the process will become easier and cheaper for foreign citizens to exchange their currency. With that being said, the US has also been going through its own cryptocurrency developments, which will certainly impact the crypto economy and the way we process our daily transactions. Before we get into it, I have a massive announcement for everyone because I am officially starting a challenge on Patreon with a real brand new $25,000 stock portfolio and growing it to $100,000. By real, I mean my actual money and not some virtual paper trading account. Especially during the current changing market climate, there are going to be many once in a decade or even once in a lifetime buying opportunities. And together, we'll be able to take advantage of these long-term opportunities and aggressively grow our portfolios while taking only calculated risks. I'm beyond excited to offer this and provide significant value to you guys. So if you're interested or just curious in seeing how I navigate my portfolio real time, as well as frequent stock market updates, my main portfolio, buy and sell alerts, and more, check out my Patreon in the description below. Since January of 2020, the US government has been working on developing a US-backed cryptocurrency under a project named the Digital Dollar Project. Central banks have actually begun talking about digital currencies decades ago. However, because the use of cash is now declining, especially during the pandemic, governments have brought it up once again. Details to the US cryptocurrency have already been released, and unlike China, the US actually values privacy and security. The US cryptocurrency will be tokenized, which means that owners of the cryptocurrency are anonymous. 
It will also be issued by the Federal Reserve to banks, which is an important detail. Unlike current digital payment systems, the US cryptocurrency will actually have value behind it. The current electronic money system, which is executed by financial payment apps such as Square, works as an indirect claim of money instead of an actual functioning digital equivalent of cash. In comparison, physical banknotes are a direct claim on money. While this may seem fine, the current digital money system can have drastic effects on the economy, such as potential fraud issues or insolvency in paying back debts. Not only that, but transactions created by commercial banks often take days to settle and also have fees with them. With the new US cryptocurrency, this will finally be resolved. Transactions will be quick, seamless, and also likely have lower fees due to high liquidity. Additionally, the US currency will also be able to be transacted offline if both parties of the transaction are close together in physical proximity. To top it off, the US cryptocurrency will be accessible by everyone in the United States no matter what your income level, location, or characteristics are. One interesting component of the US-backed currency is that it allows for complementary sector innovation, which means that applications can be used with the currency, similar to Ethereum. Yet, although a decent amount of details about the US CBDC have been released, there are still some questions that the government is working on addressing. One major question is how much regulation the currency should have. The Fourth Amendment in the Constitution establishes that consumers should be protected from companies using user data. So this brings up questions about how much privacy will be given to users of the cryptocurrency. Because of questions like this, the US is running a pilot project to finalize the details for the currency. Most recently, the Digital Dollar Project launched its first five pilot projects for the US cryptocurrency. These projects will generate data on what the benefits of a digital dollar are and what types of uses the digital dollar has. Once these projects are completed, this data will be revealed to the public. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in knowing more about this in the future. The Federal Reserve is also working with MIT to build a suitable technology platform for the hypothetical digital dollar. This platform will be similar to how blockchain is used for transacting cryptocurrencies today. But instead of blockchain, it will be the US government's own transactional platform. The Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has emphasized how the US is trying to get the digital dollar right rather than be the first country to create a CBDC. Powell believes that China is only implementing its own CBDC because they want to oversee everyone's transactions. Um, far more important to get it right than it is to do it fast or feel that we need to rush to reach conclusions because other countries are moving ahead. I mean, the, what, what the, chi the, the, the currency that's being used in China is not one that would that would work here. It, it, it's one that uh, that really allows the government to see every payment it's used it, it, for which it is used in real time. It's much more to do with things that are happening within their own financial system than it is, I think, to do with uh, with the global, uh, you know, sort of global competition. On the other side of the debate, some prominent leaders think that the Federal Reserve needs to realize how important the digital dollar actually is. Christopher Giancarlo, the former chair of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission and the co-founder of the Digital Dollar Foundation, recently argued that the 10-year experiment with cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum has shown that digital money is going to play an important role ahead. As a result, he then explained how policymakers need to wake up to the need for a digital dollar and speed up the rollout of the currency with caution. Overall, this does seem like a revolutionary idea in the sense that it would be beneficial for everyone overall. The US cryptocurrency will definitely have huge implications. For one, the US CBDC will likely bring more attention to the crypto economy and benefit other cryptocurrencies by shifting the public to be more open-minded about cryptocurrencies. Furthermore, a US cryptocurrency would likely show people the benefits of having a decentralized currency like Bitcoin or Ethereum. So far, nearly all central banks have not finalized their CBDCs and most countries are still in the testing stages. However, there is actually one CBDC already out and running right now, which is a cryptocurrency created by the Bahamas. Last year, the Bahamas launched the Sand Dollar CBDC following the destruction of their previous banking infrastructure from Hurricane Dorian in 2019 and the pandemic in 2020. This has been relatively successful as it eliminates the need of traveling to ATMs and can also be used with mobile payment apps. As for the US, it is likely that the cryptocurrency remains in the piloting stages for a while, and China will probably come out with a digital currency before the US. What do you think of a US-backed cryptocurrency? How will it affect our current crypto market and the reserve status of the US dollar? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.